holy bejeez, you guys. We've got a very busy day today and it literally just keeps shifting. Okay, cool. We're good. Set that aside and let's chat for a sec. Okay, so today is Wednesday and this is the day that I try to schedule all of my meetings on. Even though I do work for myself and I have a non-traditional job, I do try to stick to more like traditional work schedules and like working hours, if you will, as much as possible. Keeps my sanity. My gosh, we just keep getting, there's a million, there's a million things going on today. Anywho, moral of this story is that today's meeting day and I am about to grab breakfast, which I am excited to show you. But I thought that today could be a really good day to just grab my camera and vlog and show you how I'm kind of navigating, shifting things during the day, having a very busy schedule where I literally can't just listen to my body and listen to my hunger cues a lot of the time. And I'm just gonna do my best. So that's what we've got going on today. Navigating a schedule, still eating intuitively with no food rules, but I'm gonna go grab breakfast from the freezer. Have I had this? I'll show you guys what we got. And let's clear some of the stuff. I just got a GoPro, you guys. I don't think I've told you yet. I'm going on vacation. We're going on a cruise. So get excited for some hopefully fun videos if I can figure out how to work this thing, but this is gonna be so much easier than the camera that I'm currently filming on. I'll keep you posted more, probably my next video on what types of videos I'm gonna plan on filming for that, but we gotta figure out how to actually work that. But anywho, let's talk about this green kind of like monstery looking thing that I'm about to call breakfast. So I'm about to make this as a Ninja Creamy. I have a Ninja Creamy machine and I'm obsessed with it. And also, firstly, if you don't know, hello, my name is Colleen. I am a non-diet registered dietitian who teaches and preaches living a life of no food rules and finding an easy, effortless, balance, restriction free with your eating that feels good both mentally and physically. Diet free. But also, if you don't know, I have a Ninja Creamy and I'm obsessed with it. I usually use it mostly for breakfasts. I like a really, really thick smoothie. And when I saw this, I thought to myself, I was like, why don't I just try using that for my smoothies in the morning or my overnight oats? So what I usually do is just take a smoothie recipe or an overnight oat recipe, pop it in here, and then literally just like I would make a smoothie, it turns out more of like an ice cream consistency. Same ingredients, same stuff, just different kind of like texture. It's delicious. So this one I haven't had before. We'll see if it turns out. I do find that sometimes they don't translate as well. Like I have a carrot cake overnight oat recipe and also a pumpkin caramel one texture wise and honestly taste wise, they didn't turn out super great in the creamy. So we'll see how this one is. This is a new recipe that we added to the app. If you don't have my app, I will link it below. Tons of recipes in there you can get started with that. Get a customized intuitive eating plan built for you. But we also have recipes in there. So this is our shamrock smoothie. It is not a shamrock shake. You know how I didn't say I'm having a shamrock shake for breakfast? A smoothie and a shake are not the same. They're both fine. We do also have a copycat shamrock shake actually recipe in there. So you can take a peek at that. But for this one, we have, what do we have? Banana, spinach, apple, milk, mint, some protein powder, and a bit of vanilla pudding mix. I love putting vanilla pudding mix, or it doesn't have to be vanilla, it can be any flavor, into a smoothie or one of these. I've been doing it in my smoothies for years. It adds a little bit of sweetness, but it also thickens it a little bit to get it to that kind of consistency that I like. So we're gonna see if this one actually turns out. All right, let's do it. If you have a creamy FYI, I like to take a knife and run it around the edge before I re-spin it, just to make sure there's no big icy chunks. Hi Theo, you coming to check what's going on bud? Coming to check? Then I add a bit of milk and re-spin and it gives me, I think, the best consistency. Okay, so one thing to know about this is that it doesn't really have a significant source of carbohydrates. So, I mean, there's like the fruit in there, but I need something with staying power. Typically, 
in order to feel full, our bodies like to have some sort of more substantial carbohydrate source, like a grain or a cereal or something like that. Just because something has a carb in it does not mean it's a substantial source of carbohydrates. I know a lot of people are like, like carrots are carbs or like apples are carbs. Yes, but especially for me, I find that I need to have some sort of, like I said, more substantial carbohydrate source. So I'm gonna show you two things. I'm gonna show you what I'm going with and why. So I love Fiber One cereal. It's, I think it tastes delicious. I love the texture, the crunch of it. And I also like that it adds some fiber to help keep you, me anyway, feeling full and satisfied. But I'm not doing that today. No, no, no. We're gonna go with some shredded wheat bites. And the reason that I, I'm eating these ones with it. I'm just gonna throw them in there. Is my husband just had these out. He crushed them up and put them on his oatmeal. And I was like, that actually sounds really good. So we're gonna do some of those with it today. But moment of, there's a sprinkle on here. Moment of truth for the creamy. I, like I said, I don't know how this is gonna turn out texture wise. It's good. It looks like, it's giving like Grinch vibes. <laughs> it looks good. So this is what it looks like. Okay. I'll show you the actual like texture of it. Make sure you can see it here. This is really hard to hold. But you can see it's truly like ice cream. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? All right, let's try it on its own first. It's good. I went a little conservative on the mint that I added. I don't think I did the full amount. So I think the recipe calls for one to two tablespoons. I'm a minty girly. Like I like strong flavors too. So it's got like a nice hint of mint, but mm, there it goes. It's good, oh, this is good you guys. Okay. Now when I add cereal to it, I kind of like to add it as I go. Um, just crush these babies up, eat it off the top and then just kind of like keep going. I feel like strawberry is not a strange combination with this, but let's give it a try. Let's get a nice big old piece here. This texture turned out really good. The one I made yesterday was way too watery. Um, I like the strawberry with it. I hear someone. This is not ice cream for you, honey. I'm sorry, it's not ice cream for you. It's not ice cream for you. Okay, let's have a... Just drop my spoon. I thought I was gonna have time to chat with you guys a little bit more now, but I just got a notification that we have... I just got some things I have to review before a meeting, so... Mmm, good choice. So I actually need to probably multitask. I'm gonna go downstairs, review this thing uh, because I have a meeting soon. So not ideal, but that's okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything I wanna say. I don't know, we'll catch up after lunch if there's anything else I wanted to say about breakfast. Whew, okay, we made it through the morning and I'm very excited for lunch. I feel like my afternoon is gonna be a little bit slower paced. I do have an appointment later today, but I have a good chunk of time here. To just take a little bit of a break. So I am pretty hungry right now. So I'm excited to get eating this. I just made a, just a classic tuna sandwich. You guys, I am really excited about this. Someone was in my, the reason I'm decided to have this was someone was in my DMs and they mentioned something about tuna and I was like, a nice tuna sandwich sounds delicious. I should have put tomatoes on it. Honestly, I don't feel like it, what's fine. We'll eat it like this. And let me know in the comments, guys, because someone also pointed out that I typically don't toast my bread for sandwiches. And here's my rationale. I like, when I have like a, a tuna salad, a chicken salad, an egg salad, I like to have soft bread. Like to me, just like the mush of it getting together, mm, delicious. Like I don't, I personally don't like the texture change between, like I feel like if I want toast, I want to eat it like, like toast, right? Like with toppings. When I like a sandwich, I personally don't like it toasted, but am I like the odd person out here? I had a couple people say otherwise. But then I want to remind you of my, when you have a sandwich that is like chicken salad, tuna salad, that's like loose, honestly, any sandwiches, any sandwiches, this will help. So always use an extra long piece of lettuce. So you can see this one goes all the way under it. I put the lettuce down, then I put my tuna salad on top, and then we fold it up. And guess what, guys? When I go to eat my tuna salad sandwich or my sandwich, whatever it is, it is not going to fall out the bottom, okay? This is my little sandwich hack. It is the best thing. 
I don't really use a recipe when I make tuna salad. I just do mayo, mustard, celery, onion, garlic powder, onion powder, and some salt and then mix it up and that's what we've got here. And then I, I almost didn't take the time to make this because I was like, I'm really hungry, but it took two seconds. I'm late to the game on this. This is like the viral TikTok-y salad. So it's got cucumbers, mini peppers, and then it calls for like a ginger dressing. I just used whatever, something similar that I had. And then everything, bagel seasoning. Let's try it. Hmm. I mean, I feel like you can't really go wrong when you have a delicious salad dressing, but it is good with the everything bagel. Hmm. Okay. I will say you guys, I felt bougie buying the mini cucumbers because I'm not gonna lie guys, those things are expensive. Maybe it's just the Midwest in me talking, but okay, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat this. And there's a couple things I wanna fill you in on. I'm really hungry. Hi, bud. How does this look? It's fine. I think this is fine. Hello. Hello. You gonna sit on my lap? Are you gonna sit on my lap? My lap? Anywho, you gonna be? You have to be. You have to be a good boy. I'll show you. Are you gonna sit? Hey, if you're gonna be, you can sit. Okay, but we gotta be a good boy. Okay. We will not be a good boy. Okay, see you later. Okay, let's back up and talk about why I ate the things that I ate so far. So breakfast, I ate that because that was a window of time that I had time to, in my schedule to break to actually eat something. So I wouldn't say I was like necessarily like quote unquote perfectly hungry at that point. But again, it was a time that I had. And thank goodness that I realized that because I had things pop up, right? So I would say I wasn't like totally like, woohoo, okay, I'm ready for breakfast now. But it was like, this just makes sense to eat breakfast now because I looked forward and I was like the next meeting that I have, if I, A, if I wait any longer, I'm probably not going to be able to like actually get it together. And B, I would be too hungry by the time I got off that call. Like I would be ravenous and I don't know about you, but being ravenous doesn't feel very good. And what I noticed at lunchtime it's also not an enjoyable eating experience because I like shoveled that sandwich in my face. I was so hungry about that by that point because I had just some things that just kind of kept spiraling and I literally couldn't just, okay, now I'm like ready for lunch. I'm going to stop and kind of grab that. You can't always do that. And I think moral of this video so far is that when you have a schedule and you have busy days or things start to get wonky and they shift, you just do your best, right? And we're not striving for perfection here. There's going to be times when, like I said, that lunch wasn't necessarily ideal. I feel like I ate it so fast. It almost like doesn't feel like it's sitting well in my stomach. Like eating super fast just didn't feel super good. So rather than beating yourself up or thinking like, I didn't, you know, honor my hunger cues or I'm not quote unquote perfectly hungry, you learn you use it as a learning experience and you say, okay, noted, right? How can I navigate these times better if it is a time where you get too hungry? For me, I could put some snacks in my desk, easy things that I could eat while on a call, but you just learn from them. But also you understand that sometimes like it's out of your control and that is a okay. So this afternoon, like I said, my afternoon is freed up a little bit more. I have a boatload of things I got to work on. I do have therapy today and it's kind of at a wonky time when I usually like, I'm going to be going into therapy about like typically when I get hungry for a snack and I'll kind of show you how I navigate that later and we'll see. Sometimes I have a snack before, sometimes I'm like, no, I'll be fine until after and I'm truly not hungry before. So we'll just play that by ear and see. Literally, I feel like every therapy session, like whether I have snack or not before is different. Sometimes I'll have a small snack before, have something after. Sometimes I'll just wait or have one before. I don't know, it just differs. So we'll see how today goes. I do have to tell you guys, I almost forgot to put dinner in the crock pot. Does anyone else do this where you say, oh, I'm gonna cook myself a crock pot meal, right? It's gonna be great. Again, I knew today was gonna be a busy, Wednesdays are just busy days in general, but it's, we're also preparing to go on vacation. So I'm like trying to work ahead as much as possible. Let me sit you down. So I was like, cool, we'll have a crock pot meal. And I also wanted to bake it cause it's also a recipe that's gonna, 
that's going up in the society on Friday. I just kind of like to make it along with you guys and share like, hey, this is coming. So corned beef and cabbage. And I love corned beef and cabbage, you guys. It's so good in the crock pot. So I almost forgot to do that. I always forget to actually put the crock pot meals in the crock pot. Luckily, I have enough time for it to cook on high and actually cook, but that is like my toxic trait is I'm gonna cook a crock pot meal to make my life easier. Forgets to put crock pot meal in the crock pot, makes life harder because now what am I gonna have for dinner, right? We have to figure something else out. But we got that in there. It should be good to go. Okay, I am going to get back to work. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Just kidding, I'll catch up with you before therapy and we'll see about that snack. And I cannot wait for this coffee to kick in. You guys are probably like, Colleen, I feel like you're already bouncing off the walls. I'm just a very high energy person, my friends, if you haven't noticed. Okay, friends, we just arrived to therapy and I, what time is it? True Colleen fashion, I'm a little early, but I also knew I wanted to chat with you guys. I brought with me a protein bar. So considering my hunger level right now, I could wait to eat 100% right now, but when I think about waiting over an hour, it could go both ways. I don't think there's like a right or wrong decision right now, but I think I am gonna eat the protein bar because I want to be able to concentrate. If it was a shorter appointment or something like that, I might just be like, yeah, I'll be fine when I get till when I get home. But I, and I'm also just kind of excited to eat this to be completely honest. Let me set you down and I'll show you what I got. Okay, ooh. So I was at Trader Joe's over the weekend and one thing, I've mentioned this before, so when we go on vacation, I usually pack like a snack bag, specifically for like the travel day, just easy grab and go bars, stuff like that. And I like to try to do like a splurge on a protein bar, like get the more like individual ones or like the more kind of like exp expensive ones. Usually I eat the ones, you guys know this from Costco that are like, it comes out to like a dollar. But I was looking at Trader Joe's. I did grab a couple of Bear Bells for a little bit of a treat yourself kind of thing. They're not, they're like, I think it was like 225, I wanna say, don't quote me on that, which I think, especially anything above personally, $2 bar, I'm like, eh, this a little expensive. I'm usually a sale girly. You guys don't need to know all this. Anyways, I was like, you know what, we'll grab some of those. So I got a couple of these. I can't remember. I know I've had this flavor, but I can't remember what I thought of it. If you guys, I have not tried all the flavors. So if you guys have tried these Bear Bells bars, and you have Bear Bells bars, say that 10 times fast, and you have one that you like, let me know in the comments. I would love to give them a try. Also, if you have any other fun protein bar snack recommendations, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a protein, but just fun bar, fun snacks. I'd love to, I'm always down for trying stuff. So let's give this a go. This is the caramel cashew flavor. I do, I will say these Bear Bells, I will never say a protein bar tastes the same as a candy bar because it doesn't. Like, let's not pretend. These, the texture of this is like one of the closest to a candy bar, if I recall correctly. I like to see sometimes if they have like a description, like, like what the layers are, but I don't think they do. So let's give this a try. This is what it looks like on the outside. The texture is really good. You see that? These are good. Delicious. Okay. All right. I got to get going. I'm going to finish this. This was the right choice, friends. I feel like setting me up for a good, good therapy session here. All right, guys. So I hope you learned something or it just helped you see how I navigate again. Just shows you what it looks like to actually live a life of no food rules. Maybe it gave you some different ideas and whatnot. If you like this video, as always, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to the channel for a lot more info, all of the things. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.